Final score, Dean Court then, AFC Bournemouth 1, Peterborough United 1, and you can hear what people say, Ken's here, how are you? I'm fine Sam, how are you? Not too good after watching that to be honest. Didn't uh, well, lose though, did we? We didn't lose, back to second, but the performance yeah. wasn't great. No, not a great performance. I just said to you um, off a of mic, if we had 10 Lewis Cooks out there, we'd have won, we'd have been out of sight by half time. The guy is total class, and some of the players just didn't read the way he plays the game. Mm. It's a shame. I thought uh, Dom Dom played really well tonight. Nat Phillips up the back was really, really, really good. Everybody wanted Dembele in. Didn't see it for me tonight. Didn't do it for me. Billing didn't do it for me tonight. But we move on. Mm. You know, I think you can't say a lot more than that, really, can you? Worrying given the fact that Peterborough have shipped so many goals this season I think it was 69 before today obviously we made it 70 when it was one all I thought this is it we're going to come back but they just needed to stick it out for five minutes the atmosphere died and so did the team yeah that's right McCann and lost to us this season has he Mm. nil nil up there one nil with Hull and now one one down here just just annoying really Uh, there we go Um, just bring on Derby we've just got to up our game that's all and the players have got to take a hard look at themselves. They know what they've got to do. They know what it takes. I think, and stick with it. The crowd weren't. Parker really out! There you are. That, that, that's a ridiculous comment. Sorry, not a true supporter, are they? You, you know, if you support your team, three seconds in, don't you? We're second in the league. What's the matter with them? Interesting, interesting uh, debates to be had on social media. I'm absolutely certain. Ken, thanks for coming on, mate. Really appreciate Sam. it. Appreciate it. Yeah. See you at the next one. Yeah, we'll right, do. We'll do. We'll get Ethan on now as well. Ethan, do you want to come in now? Um, a lot of frustrated Cherries fans. You'll probably hear a lot of background noise, which indicates that. Speaking directly to fans, though, this is what they're thinking. Ethan, talk to me. Terrible result. I mean, the referee, disgraceful, disgraceful. P- made poor decisions all game round. That was abysmal. I agree. We're, but we can't blame it all on the ref, though, can we? I mean, he did he did make some shockers, absolutely. Yeah. But we were the architects of our own demise. We caused our own problems, and we just didn't have that energy. We wanted to start really strong, really fast. We didn't do that. And the more that happens, and the more we don't look as like we want to attack, that must give the opposition a bit of confidence. Yeah, as soon as we don't attack... One simple, one simple through ball goes through a, a whole entire defence. We go long, they just block it. So what's the point in going long? Just go down the wings. We've still got Tug Cantwell and uh, Christie. So we can use them instead of going long. Going long, it's just no point. Do any players out there, the starting eleven, disappoint you today? Billen, you really disappointed me today. You, you, I'm sorry, Billen, but <laughs> you were shocking today. Barely made a good pass. Solanke played brilliant, I think. He really deserved that goal that he did, even though it was cleared off. He really deserved that goal. Yeah, he certainly did. But one point from... We were looking at three for this one. Yeah. We're looking at nine from the, the three home games. We're now looking at a maximum of seven. But I can't, I can't see us getting a result against Derby. Yes, they are where they are in the league, but... Really, after points deductions, they would be about 14th, 15th. So that's a bit of a worry. They're scrapping for points. Peterborough are scrapping for points as well. And we're not performing against the teams that are newly promoted. Yeah. I think if we don't get uh, uh, probably three points against Derby, something's wrong. Something's wrong. I don't know what's going on at the moment. We, that, that would have been our game in hand. Like We could have had easily a three points there. But if we don't get... a uh, point at least against Derby I don't know what's going on yeah we're bringing the youth on early this week because obviously they've got school to go to tomorrow Ethan thanks very much for coming on mate really appreciate it come on in talk to me about it mate what's your name Josh Josh um no very good question (laughs) mate on the pressure yeah wasn't very good was it shambles What do you think went wrong? What's going wrong at the moment? Is it our tactics? Is it the personnel? He's mucking around. He yeah. put subs on last minute, doesn't he? Yeah. Last like, five minutes. He was leaving it late. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, not to make good changes. decisions, was it? There were people chanting like, Mark Hondes, Lowe. People at Lowe. their own club were booing at um, Scott Parker. Shocker, really. We're, we are in the autos at the moment on, yeah. on goal difference, but we have got games in hand, etc. Yeah. But they, they were given the league. 
they were bottom oh, of the league. And really, given yeah. the fixtures that we've got later on in the season, does it worry you a little bit? Because April's an awful run. Yeah, it kind of worries me, but hopefully in the future, there's a lot of games because a lot of players are COVID and stuff, and yeah. a lot of games were well. to the win, wasn't it? Yeah. So hopefully in the future, we'll come back here. Nice Fingers well. crossed. Have Thanks for coming on, Josh. Really appreciate it. Do you want to come on, mate? Hello, buddy. How are you? Come on in. Why don't you introduce yourself to the people watching? Reese Hansford. Reese, and we got Ben here and Adam as well. You're right. Um, Reese, talk to me about that game. Um, I think Lewis Cook did pretty good in the first half. Yeah. He was he was named man of the match. Do you agree with that? Yes. Yeah. Were there any players that maybe didn't perform as well as you wanted them to? Um, I think Dom. Dom, yeah. He didn't, think, he didn't really get much support, though, did he, up front? No. I think he could have had more opportunities if everyone else could just, like, cross it in or something. Yeah. And the goal from Ryan Christie, fantastic goal, just shows what we can do if we play direct. Because quite often, I feel as though we play around outside their penalty box quite a bit, but we don't do anything with it. It takes one player just to run forward and shoot and score. That was a great goal, wasn't it, from Christie? Yeah. We do need to see more of that from players. Um, Lewis Cook, man of the match then for you, yeah? Yeah. Are we going to get three points against Derby, do you think? Mm, maybe not, maybe... I don't know. Yeah, well, that's it. I think you're feeling like many of us are. Reese. thank you for coming on, mate. Really appreciate it. Cheers, buddy. Adam, you all right? Yeah. How are you OK after that? Uh, good. OK. Man of the match for you? Uh, Lewis Cook Lewis Cook Ben are you in agreement yeah because he was in the first half he kept like running forward like no one was going forward they were just passing out of back and he made a few runs right at the start and like he started our attacks and stuff so that was really good but Ben absolutely infuriating though to see us drawing against a team that's bottom of the league I know they're scrapping for points but I didn't actually think they played that well today Peterborough yet somehow they have emerged with a point what's going wrong uh, it's because they had five at the back. It was just really difficult for us to get through as we were only playing Dom up front. Yeah. It was a bit difficult for him to get through, but like he got through a few times, but they made a mess of that a little bit. Like billing short, mm, just went wide, but... Yeah. Yeah. There are lessons to be learned in every match that we play, but we don't seem to be learning them, which is the which is the worry for me. Gents, thank you for coming on. I appreciate it's short, but there's a lot of people waiting, so thank you. Tom's here. I mean, I dread to think what it would have been like sitting next to you. Yeah. I can't, I can't wait for the, the meme of we will win that I said in the preview. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. I've yeah, that'd be good. That. I've already had a few tweets about that. Yeah. Uh, what can I say, mate? We played Peterborough twice. We've scored one goal. We've got two points off them. They're the worst team in the league. You know, no I'm respect to them. I'm thinking of that video from Ben HD who's got the reverse fixtures for the rest yeah, of the season. Actually, so yeah. it's going to form. Yeah. So we'll probably be losing on Saturday then if, if yeah. Derby's... Oh, we would have but, put that. But, you know... You know, aside from Blackpool, our record against these sides that come up uh, have been appalling. And look, I just said to Ben and Adam, they weren't even that good for it. And I'm not trying to sound disrespectful because no, no. Peterborough stuck in. They were dogged. They and were in both games, I'd well. say, that both, both games we played them, I think they earned the draw in both. Yeah, and um, I, I'm not trying to be condescending no. at all. But they are part of the league for a reason. And look at our squad. I mean, I just, mate, I can't I'm looking at the clock, 88 minutes. And I'm thinking, Dom Solanke's on his own. We played against Peterborough, the bottom of the league. 180 minutes and Dom's been on his own in both games I don't get it I've just seen Fulham go away from home win 5-1 and uh, mate it, I just I can't I can't watch it it's so dull you've got your captain at the back Lloyd Kelly I'm going to he was absolutely atrocious he gets the ball he gives it away or he gives it sideways you got we keep talking about I've said it myself all the right backs we've got Jack Stacey was awful and then we're bringing Jay Nantley on uh, right, what are we doing and like I say, we're waiting to 88 minutes to bring on a player that scored three and three. I, I, I don't understand. Don't know what's happened to Phil Bill. Jacob Tanswell was not giving him a good mark today, surely. I'd, again, Lewis Cook. Lewis Cook, the only player that's doing, you know, doing his job, really. But it's just, it's so boring. It's so boring. And I, I, I just don't know what we're doing. I don't know. What, how are we playing Preston, who haven't won at home in three months and losing, and then playing Peterborough, who haven't won in 12 and playing like that, it's so bad. Um, no one seems to have any fight at the moment. Even on about 80 minutes or so, the ball was down our end in the corner. I was in the Ted Mac. 
and the ball was on the touchline. Philip Billing was just walking yeah. towards the ball really yeah. slow. Yeah, it was cool. our goal kick or our offside or our free kick or something like that. And it's just there's absolutely no urgency there at all. It's They think that they can just walk this league and the they've problem, been proven yeah. that they can't and they need to prove to us fans they, that they can actually put up a fight and are capable because at the moment they're absolutely not. But Scott Parker, who's sat there, standing there, I, I, I sort of said in the vlog, which is going to be coming out tomorrow, I wonder what it would be like if he wasn't in that technical area. We might find out on Saturday. But, um, yeah, I, I saw him talking to Emi Marcondes on about 60-something minutes, like giving him instructions. Don't bring him on till 88. Well, we were singing his name at that point. Yeah, yeah, I mean, all the fans singing his name, singing Lowe's. I mean, I'm not being funny. He's got Lowe's called three and three, and he's not coming on till yeah, I don't get it. Um, yeah, it's... It's weird, it's dull, and to be honest, the stats might say that we had loads of chances, loads of possession. Did their goalie make a save? The stats mean nothing. Did their goalkeeper make a save in that second half? I, I can't remember him doing anything. No, I can't remember him doing and, and again, I feel so sorry for Dom. He's having to come back and play centre midfield to get hold of the bloody ball. Mm. And I, like I say, I think Lewis Cook was good. I think Christy tried his best. And the only time we scored the goal was Christy taking a bit of responsibility and going, you know what, I'll make something happen there. I'll beat a few men and have a shot. And the one time we did that, it went in. We had so long to go and it felt like the players kind of thought it'll come. And they just went for the motions. I'll be interested to see if Leif Davis is injured because I don't know why he can't be on the bench when you've got Mepper Man Kale. You think, so I don't think Jay Z's on at the moment. And you just like to think a bit of balance, balls in the box, stuff like that. But yeah, I, as, as I keep saying, we'll probably get away with it. I think Blackburn dropped points tonight, you know, uh, uh, against Millwall. Uh, Borough got, got beat. So yeah, we'll probably, we'll probably get away with it as usual. Um, and probably stumble over the line, but it's uh, not good to watch. Keep uh, again. Let's hope for a reaction, but we keep saying it. I, I, I don't really know what else to say, mate. It's the same old story, isn't it? But I feel like a broken record. I, I don't like being at Dean Court anymore. No, it's not I don't like though. it. It's not enjoyable. It's crap. It's, it's yeah. crap. Not enjoyable. The atmosphere is rubbish, which I think is part and parcel of what we're seeing on the pitch. Uh, the performances ain't very good. It's very safe. It's very negative. Um, changes ain't very good. There's nothing really great. Apart from the fact that the, you look at the results and think, oh, a few results went our way. And, um, shouldn't have to, and shouldn't, you know shouldn't what? We, we shouldn't have to look at stats to justify feeling OK about things. We, it's OK to have an opinion based on what we watch. And what we watched wasn't very good. Yeah, no, exactly. That's, that's what we keep saying. I'm just going off what I'm watching. We've been to all the games and we're just talking about what we're watching. At the start of the season, when, we, when I felt Scott was down to the bare bones in terms of having to play some young players, we had Lerm spending a lot of injuries... We were getting the job done, you think, and we were all giving them credit. Go back, we were all giving them credit, saying with, with the squad we got available, we're getting the job done. But when we've got, I mean, how many transfer, how many more players do you need to bring? Another 20? Because it's, it's ridiculous. The squad we've got, and the only change we made was bringing on Jane Nanty at right back until the last minute of the game. So, yeah, a load of rubbish, mate. A few wait until so I let him come on, yeah. but um, right. I'm going to the bar. Yeah, go to the bar. Hello, mate, you're right. How are you? Good. Introduce right. yourself to people um, watching. I'm Finn. How are you, mate? Good, thank you. Um, I'm surprised you're feeling good after watching that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, talk to me about that performance, Finn, because for me, it wasn't good enough. It no. was a team that we should have beaten. Yeah. They, they're bottom of the league. We should be beating them, really. But it's a bit the same. We just play across the back and never go up. No one seems to take on the responsibility of driving us forward. The one time we did was when we scored our goal yeah. from Ryan Christie. Who was your man of the match today? I think um, Lewis Cook was. Yeah. He wanted to get the ball up and tried his hardest. When you saw the team at the start at 6.45 when the teams came out, do you were you happy with what you saw? Yeah, I think it was all good. Yeah, mm. but unfortunately we just can't seem to apply ourselves at the moment. Does this constant level of performance... We've seen it for a long time now. Does it worry you ahead of a match against Derby County on Saturday? They're scrapping for points. How do you think it's going to pan out? I think we'll be all right. I think we'll just clinch the win a bit, but yeah. yeah. All right, mate. Finn, right. thanks for coming on. Really Thank appreciate you. it, buddy. Up the cherries. Hello there. How are you? Yeah, come on in. Um, introduce yourself. Uh, Di. Right, yeah. I'm Ryan. Di, go for it. What did you think of that? Whoa. Tough. Uh, I think Christy played all right. Yeah, um, I'm, li- I'm liking the fact you're starting with positives. Th- that's a good thing because I gather there might be some negatives at some point. I mean, yeah. we. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I think personally, I think that it's a t- you know midweek fixtures. The season's relentless. It's game after game after game, which, t- which teams like. But then if you've got problems like injuries, which will happen, then that's when we start to struggle, and that's when we seem to 
lose our momentum, if you like. So if we have a mess of a slight dip, then we just can't seem to get going. But when we get going, we just seem to lose for, uh, form. But I also have noticed that we're all over teams possession-wise, but we just have to finish them off. Because if we, if we want promotion, which we, which we want, we need to, we need to take golden opportunities because we've had chances tonight and we just haven't taken them we we have a lot of we have a lot of possession but we don't seem to do anything with That's, it yeah. which is the which is the real worry were there any players today that you thought were weren't so great die uh, i think the number two i think mm. phillips yeah yeah i think him could have done a lot better i think yeah, Nat Phillips, yeah. I think, was quite wet. I mean, there was times where he got up the pitch and his crossing was awful. He crossed yeah, over He crossed over everyone. I think, do you feel as though we missed the communication of having Cahill have, at the back? We haven't got that zip. We haven't got that. We don't seem to have that zip. You know, it's like with the, with the corners. No one's going, look, stay with your man. Stay with him. Because you're letting, your, you're letting your players go and you, you switch off for a split second, bang. That's what happens. We can't do that in this league. Same with the Premier League. Same with any other league. You can't switch off. Even for a split second, you will get hurt. You will get punished by other teams. And I've heard people say before, Peterborough are the bottom of the league. We can't be drawing or losing against bottom of the league teams. For instance, Derby on Saturday, that's another big, big game. That's a huge yeah. game. If we don't win that one, then we are in for yeah. a tough run. Yeah. Scott Parker's yeah. going to be under some real pressure. Yeah, superb to have you on, guys. Thank Cheers. you very much. Really appreciate Cheers. it. Nice up the cherries. Cheers. Hi, mate. You're right. Come on in. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right. Thank Introduce you. yourself. I'm Kieran. Kieran, nice to meet you, mate. Um, <laughs> talk, to, talk to me. Give me something, mate. Uh, I, I'm not sure. I didn't. It was wasn't really a good performance from start to finish. I think it just wasn't really. No, like the chances were there and just no one was taking them I think a couple of decent crosses in apart from that Phillips yeah yeah <laughs> well, I just mentioned that <laughs> I thought that had gone out yeah yeah um, but no it was really lacklustre mm. few players weren't at the races and no. haven't been for a while look I'm, I don't want to put words in your mouth but a few people have been mentioning Philip Billing yeah uh, he wasn't particularly good he was passing the ball out of play a number of times he, he wasn't great at Preston can't really remember him pulling up many trees in the match before that. He's he's actually now got ten bookings, so he's going to be out for two games. Which I do, I don't want to call it a blessing in disguise, but I do because we need yeah. because we need someone else in there. It gives it gives a chance for someone else to kind of shine. It gives a, it gives someone else a chance, and that's really it might it might be someone that steps up. Mm. But I think yeah, as you said, he was quite poor. I also thought um, Kelly was quite poor, and at the end of the game, he's shaking his head. Yeah, people are booing. He's shaking his head. Yeah, what do you expect? The performance is not good enough. Petersburg near the bottom of the league, mm. and we're we're playing like that. Yeah, it's I don't know. Worries me because they they got pumped three 0 by a Huddersfield, who are exactly. our nearest rivals, who yeah. who made it look really easy. Uh, yeah, it's it's really concerning. But um, can you give me any positives? Into, I mean, the man of the match was Lewis Kirk. Are you in yeah. agreement with that? Um, I actually thought it was Ryan Christie because yep. I thought from, from the beginning of the game to the end, played well, obviously got himself a nice goal, decent finish. But, yeah, he, he was my man of the match. But I'm not going to take anything away from Lewis Kirk. He was also one of the better players today. But apart from that, I wouldn't have picked any other performers. No. Yeah. Kieran, thanks very much for coming away. Nice really appreciate it. Up the it. cherries. Up the cherries. <laughs> yeah, cheers, mate. Thank you very much. We've got Paul Kenwood, who's standing by, waiting. And Keithy T is going to join as well. What a, what a <laughs> lovely couple. We've, we've buried him with Chris Temple, so we'll bury him here now. <laughs> right. Um, wow. Oh, uh, yeah. W- wow. Wow. And not in a good way. Not in a good way. Uh, that reminded me, we were just saying... Kevin Bond era, fag end of it, League One, sort of League Two game tonight. That's the quality. Can't string a pass together. Can't keep the ball. Um, not sure what Kelly's doing. Not sure what Stacey was doing tonight. The amount of balls that went out was just shocking. But that's controlled football. Oh, I forgot. That's that is the yeah. controlled football. Controlled is that we're controlled at kicking it out. It it will say probably. I don't know. I'm guessing. We'll have more. We'll have had more shots. It'll oh, have said yeah, we'll sure. have had more, pre- more yeah. possession. How, how can you read a game like that? Because it was yeah, just... I'm not being funny. Like you, t- you don't have to be a rocket scientist to realise that was poor. And look, there's a lot of people been talking. Are oh, they? They're a side at the bottom of the league and all that. Um, 
and we're not trying to be condescending, but no. they actually weren't that great, though. No. And, that, no, and they, they come away with a point against yeah. a team that's allegedly Premier League quality. Exactly. Yeah. And the, and the Ooh. and the worrying thing is they could have won that tonight. Uh, and certainly oh, yeah. in the faster off, and it was only that we just decided to run at their defence and scuff a scuff shot from uh, Christie that we we got the goal. But apart from that, knocking it about the back, uh, aimless passes. Um, if that's control, I hate to see what out of control is, yeah. because you, you 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 can't get away with that in the Prem. No. You couldn't get away with that in the Championship, really. And and we were we were lucky. We were lucky tonight, and uh, I don't know. Do you know what winds me up the most? Is the subs were warming up, and they were trying to get the crowd going. They turned into cheerleaders. Yeah. Mm. Essentially, Parker's told the whole, you know, all the team, get all the crowd going, get the crowd going. But it turned into a bit of like they were taking the mick a bit, you know, like mm. get come on, get into the game, get into the game, and then on the pitch they're not even trying. It's like it should have to be that way round. Should no. have. No. They should be entertaining us. Mm. That gets the crowd going. You don't force the crowd to get going with the subs. And then, you know, I, I remember a time as well where Parker gave a thumbs up for a backwards pass when the crowd were getting on the back of the players. And it just it got to the point where I just feel a bit... And at the end, the, the fans booing the players off instead of clapping them off was interesting. And, and Kelly was shaking his head as if to say, why are you booing us off? Mm. You know, how dare you boo us off? But actually, they, they were crap. Mm, they, they, were, they didn't play well enough to be cheered off the pitch you get to the point where you're playing against bottom of the league we should be winning 3-0 4-0 maybe 3-1 give them mm. a, you know, a bit of credit that goal was not too bad but they got lucky with the goal Yeah. You know, we haven't had the luck since the beginning part of the season our luck has slowly dwindled mm. and so have our results that sort of attitude like you were mentioning uh, of wanting the fans to you know, motivate the players. It sort of reminds me of like being a League Two side in the FA Cup when you need that twelfth man. Yeah, the yeah, quality yeah. of players means that we we shouldn't have to be that twelfth no, man. No, no, no. Why do we? You know, why do we need to be? I mean, the players are just not. They're not giving us anything. Mm. Phil Billing, I can't remember the amount of times he put out a play today, yeah. uh, and I don't want to like single him out because there's have been a number of players that have been mentioned tonight that were just at not at the races. And I said just previously that he's now got. 10 bookings so he's going to be out for two games anyway so yeah. maybe this will be a chance for either Christie to come inside or Mark Condes Mark to start Condes you know, or something like something. we need fresh meat yeah, yeah. and, 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 and the, the, the worry I mean Todd Campwell some of what his decision making wasn't on it um, Dom again isolated um, but Dom was playing central midfield the, the yeah, game. yeah dropping so deep and and up top and I worry about a team. We're, we're talking about these low block teams that are like thought, thought in us. I'm worried about a team that's going to play a high press against the back two that we've got at the moment. Mm. Because you only need to get onto them, and there's a mistake in both of these guys. And I was, Phillips was just strolling around. Can, at you, some can point. you drop the captain? <laughs> can Cause, you? Because yeah. Kelly, today, he didn't deserve to be central defender. No. He, he was awful today. Definitely would have preferred Mepham or Cahill, preferably. Yeah. But I think he, he doesn't seem to be at the races, and it's not the first game that he's been poor. Mm. I mentioned this on the preview to Tom. Like, mm. Whilst Cahill yeah. wasn't particularly the fastest, he communicates, and yes. he was the one who directed the whole of the back four. But now, sort of, almost Kelly has to take that responsibility mm. as maybe the, you know, the senior Bournemouth player. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and it's, you know, it's, a, it's a combination that I've... I'm not sure is working. Was it's it done though, Sam? And I'll, I'll put this out there. Was it done to prevent a move for him to make him captain? Quite possibly. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know because he, he's a he's oh. a young lad who who needs to be concentrating on his game. He doesn't need the responsibility of captaincy, mm. at least in my opinion. Mm. And the, the the other the other thing is, isn't it bizarre that about three weeks ago, Lewis Cook need to be dropped and now he's our best player mm. so we have no idea who's in form and who's out of form because the, nobody nobody seems to know what to do and um, I mean Zamora is a shadow of the player he was before he was at uh, AFCON you know it's um, deeply deeply I, troubling I can't see us going up on the, the way we're playing I, honestly, I, don't, I, I, can't I don't think we deserve it, it. we no, don't deserve absolutely it absolutely don't deserve it and if we do it, it, it's fraudulent yeah, yeah I don't really feel like I want to go up the way well, we're playing if we're going to carry on playing like this I'd rather not go up if you want a masterclass in, in, in controlled possession football 
you you not watch a number of teams in the Premier League and uh, or, or or go and look back on like Louis Van Gaal or someone you know who plays that way, and it's nothing resembling that. Yeah. So whoever he's trying to blag, um, it, it, it's not fooling everyone. And and I, I, look, we can't afford to get rid of him, but but there has to be somebody upstairs has yeah. to think about the quality because there was no quality tonight. No quality, and I hate saying it, and it breaks my heart. I think Lewis Cook was the only, yeah. the only quality player I mean, out there wanted today. To drive it on yeah. and, and win a game. Yeah, Brilliant. gents. Yeah. Thank you very much. We've got another Thank two you, games Sam. coming up in a week. No. Yeah. We're looking forward to seeing your chirpy yeah. faces onwards. again. Yeah, <laughs> Thanks, onwards Sam. to Saturday. Yeah, onwards. Right then. So that was that was pretty viewing, wasn't it? Probably more of the. More of the voices that were a bit more dissenting were heard in the background rather than in the foreground on the mic here. But not a great performance. Not enjoyable to watch football at Dean Court either. Final score was Pete uh, was born with one, Peterborough one. Look, we've got a match day vlog tomorrow. Enjoy watching that. Thursday, we're going to be doing our away day review for Preston. Friday, we're putting out the preview. And on the preview, myself and Tom are going to be talking and we want to have your opinion. So if you're watching this, wherever you are, look at the description below because we want your short video messages to be sent in. Around 30 seconds to 60 seconds, do it in landscape and you can submit it via the methods you can see in the description. And just tell us what you feel about stuff and myself and Tom. We'll watch them and we'll comment on them as we preview Saturday's absolutely must win, massive game against Derby County. You thought we'd be saying that. Anyway, up the cherries. See you in the next one.